is finally Friday, and if you're looking to beat the heat outside with something to watch inside, we got two movies hitting theaters you may want to check out. We got Joshua Ray in studio, of course. He's a film critic and editor over at thetakeup.com. Glad you're with us. This first movie, Substance, it's a real interesting one. Don't look so excited. Uh, it's about this uh, celebrity that's kind of fallen out of grace mm -hmm. and he finds this drug that tries to make them look younger. Take it away. Well, it very successfully makes them look younger, and I won't give too much away, but it, to understand a little bit of it, you have to understand that it splits them off, okay. and then those two beings have to live, uh, they have to coincide. One week on, one week off. So Demi Moore uh -huh. plays the, uh, as you said, fallen from grace actress, and Margaret Qualley, who's one of my favorite working actors right now, plays the younger, revamped version. And then of course you have Dennis Quaid in the middle of all this being a very skeezy producer. Oh, what's Demi's performance like? Because people are saying this is a good bounce back for her. Well, she's utterly unhinged. Um, <laughs> she has been driven to the brink by this drug, but also by the industry. Um, it, it, they make a really great pair, kind of yin and yang, the two of them, um, because one of them is fulfilling the dreams of the other one, while the other one owes everything to the other. So it gets very complicated throughout this journey, and it spends a lot of time comparing and contrasting these two women and their, their bodies and their aging and the way that they perform. Drama, horror type of flick, maybe something not for the kids Ab to go absurdist to. Absurdist satire comedy that I ended up kind of really hating. This in was the actually, end of it. that's disappointing. It was on my list because for friends of Ray Liotta, this was actually a movie he wasn't a star in. He died earlier this year, so that's why we got Dennis Quaid in that role. Which he's really good at this kind of skeezy, disgusting guy, but he's really only in 10 minutes of it. It's a two hander between these two actresses. Interesting. And the absolute horrific things that happen with this drug, there are things in this film that your nightmares are jealous of. Oh, wow. Um, but with that, you get, I think this director has some things that they need to work out in therapy, and I'm not a therapist <laughs> and can't help them. There's a bit of ableism, there's a bit of ageism, there's a bit of fat phobia, so there's, a lot, going there's on. a lot going on in there, but it is a very wild ride that I think, it, get your heart rate pumping for that. Ultimately, I think it's a failure. Let's give you an option real quick for the kids. Transformers 1, it's an animated version of the story now in theaters. Yeah, this is a prequel of all the proper Michael Bay uh, uh, Transformer films that we've gotten with Shia LaBeouf and, and yeah, 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 all all of them. Uh, we've got the voices of Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, Brian Tyree Henry, our own John Hamm in there. Look, I sat down and watched this thing. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't tell you anything about it. I think this is for fans of the original Transformer Saturday morning cartoon, the original film, and for kids. So I was lost in it. This is a <laughs> film critic saying, I don't know what to tell you about this thing. And for me, a lot of it was just kind of samey looking and dizzy. I guess we'll just all have to go and figure it out for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I if guess. you want to hear more reviews like that from Josh, go check out his podcast and review over at his website. And also follow him on social media at the Take Up STL. It